Hi and welcome to Clark Auctions preview video of jewelry and silver. We'll begin here with this Russian icon of Madonna and Child and what makes this really nice is the silver Riza or frame and these halos or crowns to each figure. Really quite nice and it is stamped. One of my favorite lots in the sales is a pair of Tiffany & Company sterling serving pieces with turkeys. So someone could prepare early for Thanksgiving or maybe you just like turkeys but these are up for auction at three to five hundred. Here we have this traveling menorah, which is quite nice. So a little teeny tiny guy here, really very sweet. And this is estimated at three to 500. It does have an inscription and it's continental silver. We have this large English silver pedestal bowl. So really large in size, quite grand and in very good condition. What makes this even nicer is this kind of border to the perimeters. So it gives it the, a nice interesting look. Uh, one of my favorite lots in the sale is this loving cup. So you can see each handle are these wonderfully crafted snakes. If you just look at the detailing and the scales, and this is by the Alexander uh, Clark Manufacturing Company. So it is English silver, and this is estimated at 600 to 900. From the same estate as our loving cup, this is only two of the examples. So they're all of these plaques of figures. These are actually in 14 karat gold, and many of them are in silver or other metals. Um, but all together at four to six hundred. So there's an entire collection of them from a Bronxville estate. Interesting grouping in the sale. We have this vanity box or casket box. Um, it is cut glass with a silver lid and these amethyst pendants. And then we have this guillotine enamel vanity set and this small Royal Danish International Sterling, probably a mustard pot. Um, we have this wonderful French 950 silver tea service, three pieces, and this is by Emile Hugo, but it's really quite nice. Beautifully crafted, kind of this engine turn design, and these monogrammed frames, really beautiful. Moving on to some more contemporary silver, we have this four piece um, Johan Rodi for George Jensen Cosmos Sterling tea service. So really beautiful, always love George Jensen. This is estimated at three to 5,000. You can just see the nice detailing here, um, the fluting to the bottom portion of the vessels. And again, this is the Cosmos pattern, Johan Rodi for George Jensen at three to 5,000. This is a Christoffel um, 60 piece Aria sterling flatware set. So it isn't sterling, it is not silver plate, which makes it even more interesting. Each come in their original boxes. Um, so you can see here, there are lids for all of them. They're just not present at the moment. Um, they also have the dust jackets and this is approximately 108 or so troy ounces. Double check the website because I'm not 100% sure on that, but this is estimated at four to 6,000. We have this beautiful gilt bronze and carved rock crystal bell push and this is by EF Caldwell. This is estimated at four to 600. We have this petite silver compact with enamel decoration and a central jade plaque. We have these three compacts together. Um, these two are by the French artist Alphonse de Bain and this is just a very sweet continental um, guillotine enamel box. We have this wonderful 18 karat gold and jade ring um, by Consigner Provenance. This was graded as imperial jade and I'm going to take it out just so you can see the wonderful green color. So of course it has to interact with the light in order for you to see this, but it's absolutely beautiful. This is estimated at 1,000 to 1,500. We have these two Cartier 18 karat gold wedding bands, one ladies and one men's, which is sweet. We have this uh, Cartier style uh, three band rolling ring. So that is 14 karat gold. Jump back for a minute because I missed this one. This is a Hans Hansen um, water pitcher. Nice handle, nice detailing here, um, all stamped to the underside, and this is for April 3rd. We have this large English silver easel back mirror, so this is all silver here, really quite decorative and nice at three to 500. We have a two-piece coral suite, so we have a graduated Victorian coral necklace, and then open this up, and we have a very sweet um, coral button set in gold. From one of our walk-in Wednesday appraisal days, we have this 18 karat gold kind of chic lady brooch with colored gems and enamel work. We have this 14 karat gold mounted angel skin coral carved floral brooch. These are each lotted individually at three to 500 and they are each Elsa Peretti for Tiffany. They are bone cuffs. This is in the small size and this is in the medium size. So that's quite nice. We have this three piece suite of continental silver. Um, 
I guess ladies makeup items. So there's two vanity compacts and then a lipstick holder. Uh, we have a 14 karat gold lavender jade mounted ring. We have a pair of 14 karat gold angel skin coral and diamond accented floral earrings. This is so, so sweet. This is an Italian 18 karat gold turtle brooch with diamonds and colored gems. Again, just a testament to quality. Flip it over and look how nicely made the back is. So it's just sweet as can be. Love this little guy, he's at six to 900. We have this amethyst and diamond cocktail ring in 14 karat gold. We have this very sweet gold ring, so it's a rose cut diamond, which I just love. Um, this is a engagement ring, so it's slightly over half a carat, set in white gold. We have this pair of 14 karat gold mabe pearl earrings with diamond accents. And these are at three to 500, I believe. Um, this is an interesting, um, vintage or antique Tiffany and Company umbrella, and this is 18 karat gold. So if you just take a look here, there's beautiful floral work, stamp Tiffany and Company, all the details of the age, etc., are on our site, and this is estimated at three to 500. We have this grouping of miscellaneous silver jewelry. Um, so lots of different stuff. There's a lot of these silver mounted shell pendants, which are sweet, but then a tremendous amount of Sajen, S-A-J-E-N jewelry. So it's kind of these carved faces. So there's rings and earrings, etc. And all of these pieces together are estimated at four to 600 from a Long Island estate. We have this pair of WMF um, Art Nouveau figural candelabras of these beauties and kind of these floral skirts, I would say. Uh, but really quite nice. Came from a Manhattan estate. We'll jump forward to these two petite diamond rings from the same estate as our WMF candelabra. And those two together are estimated at three to 500. We have a group of cameos. So very nicely done cameos. Um, and these came from Long Island. So just a nice assortment. Um, some of the scenes I was able to identify. Others are mystery or portraits or busts of ladies. We have this 14 karat gold kind of starburst style bracelet with rose cut diamonds, which is very nice. From a Bronxville estate, we have this pair of 14 karat gold, white gold star form earrings with diamonds at six to 900. Jump forward and we have a very sweet bar pin with pearls and what I believe to be Ceylon sapphires. Um, skip over here, these two are two separate lots, but this is a very nice um, gold and onyx statement ring. It's beautiful, really easy to wear. Um, and then we have this very sweet moonstone ring, but if you look at the sides, I love moonstones, but I also love that there's some sort of a dolphin or fish to the setting. We have a wonderful uh, large amethyst. So this is a brooch or a pendant, and this is estimated at 400 to 600. Skip over here, we have a wonderful angel skin coral multi-tier ring with diamond accents. Um, here we have a Cartier tricolor rolling band ring and that's at 300 to 500. Um, here we have a micro mosaic of um, an Italian scene. So really quite nice, some condition issues verso. We have these three gold mounted hinged bracelets. So we have Malachi and Jade. We'll skip back over here. So this is a JTC um, Geneve travel clock. So it has a tiger's eye base, guillotine enamel throughout, and a, it's a minute repeater and it has a Moonstone push, so it's really quite sweet. Um, here we have a three-piece suite of silver items, so American silver, but if you look at the scenes, they're very sweet. So this is a lady and a little cupid. This is a travel clock, so it closes up nicely. And then here we have mermaids. Always love a nice little whimsical design. This is a Viviana Toron for George Jensen bracelet. Really nice at 500 to 700. We have this fob with various pieces. Uh, one of the stars of the show is this absolutely beautiful Cartier 18 karat gold ring with split shank and the center diamond weighs about 1.15 carats. It's HI color and VS1, VS2 clarity. And this is estimated at 6,000 to 9,000. Another couture grouping in the sales is this pair of Bucciolati 18 karat gold leaf form earrings with ruby accents. We have this signed floral form brooch um, with citrines, peridots, and diamonds, and this is estimated at 1200 to 1500 We have this Mousse de Cartier ladies watch and it is verme and it comes with some additional pieces and the booklet and paperwork which is always nice and this is estimated at 300 to 500. We have this pair of Fabergé um, gilt silver and enamel decorated urns so I'm going to lift one up so you can see that the urns are decorated with these kind of monsters which are very fun and then the top is 
accented by rose cut diamonds and colored gem cabochons, which is beautiful. These are estimated at 2,000 to 3,000. We have this 18 karat gold necklace, so it's really quite nice. We have this ladies watch and 14 karat gold with diamonds which again is a beautiful piece here. It is a quartz movement. We have this carved angel skin coral necklace with extra beads. Moving on, we have a beautiful amethyst cathedral geode. So this is one of two in the sale. Nice vibrant purple to these. So that's always nice. We have a pair of cufflinks with interchangeable um, pendants. So you can either have lapis or jade. So that's really quite nice. Um, we have a pair of 18 karat gold earrings, a second pair of 18 karat gold earrings, and a third pair of 18 karat gold earrings with diamond accents. Each are lotted individually. We have a Waltham Hunter case pocket watch that comes with a fob. We have this Vacheron Constantine open face pocket watch in 14 karat gold. This is also one of the most interesting lots in the sale. Um, so this is an Arnex and this is an automaton musical pocket watch. So if you went on our Instagram actually, you can see it in, in all its glory. So this guy, his hand goes back, um, she's pumping the well and the water flows and it plays Oh What a Beautiful Morning, which is very sweet. And this is estimated at 12 to 1500. We have this micro mosaic 19th century necklace that is just out of this world. Um, so each of the micro mosaic pendants are accented by a blue surround and then seed pearls. And just each one is either an animal or flowers and they're just so beautiful. If you take a look, of course, the best ones are the dogs. So here's a little dog. Even the clasp is beautiful. And this is estimated at 25 to 3,500 and does come with some additional paperwork and appraisals from the previous owner. We have two one ounce gold coins. So one is an Indian head and the other one is a US gold coin. Um, a lot of interest in these. We are going to skip back to another piece of silver. So this is a Mexican silver three piece tea service with the tray, estimated at eight to 1,200. So we are going to look at four separate lots of nice costume jewelry. So these all came from Long Island. This is one grouping. So we have a nice black Amora. We have kind of a, an Indian with a turban on, which is absolutely gorgeous. We have a bicycle. Um, a lot of these pieces are signed. This one is particularly sweet. Um, this geisha or Buddha is absolutely beautiful. And a lot of, most of these pieces are signed. So this is one lot and this is estimated at 300 to 500. Moving on, these are mostly flowers. So these are a lot of floral brooches, and again, a lot are signed. I will skip forward. So this is one of the Lacultra lamp post clocks. This is at three to 500. So we have this grouping at four to 600. We have a figural grouping of brooches. So again, a lot of these are coral crafts. Some is our trifari. This one is particularly nice. Um, these two are both coral craft, and these are absolutely beautiful and in very good condition. Um, my favorite piece, of course, is this crazy one. So it's a lobster with little dangly claws. Um, and this grouping is estimated at four to 600. And then probably the nicest or the one with the most value is this grouping here. So there's some very early Hobie pieces. So these are all by that maker. And so they're actually, they're silver and gold filled and they're really quite nice. Um, this is another popular piece. There's a three piece suite. Actually, I didn't put it together, but these are also Hobie. So that's quite nice. And again, this is estimated at four to 600. So then one of the stars of our show today is this Cartier um, figural carving or figural grouping. So we have a pair of uh, quartz carved cockatoos with rose cut diamond eyes and it's on a beautifully carved perch with enamel decoration and a fluorite base. And although it isn't signed, very similar examples have come up. It's heavily influenced by the work of Fabergé and also illustrated in this book. You can see very similar examples. So the perches are very similar. Some have sold recently. There are a few condition issues to ours, but it is, um, and it actually speaks of the cockatoos that were carved in 1905. So these are early 20th century, 1905, Cartier, beautiful, and estimated at 3,000 to 5,000. And that wraps it up for our selection of jewelry and silver for the April 3rd sale. We hope to see you there.